Hey, yeah, hey, as y'all come in and wait, don't hate. Hit the like. <laughs> Hit the like as y'all wait for us to come in. Come on, can we get to five likes? <laughs> can we get to five likes before the eight minutes is up? Can we get to five likes? Come on, we we on a likes drive for five likes. Can I get five likes? I ain't asking for five dollars. Give us five likes. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, we'll be with y'all in a minute. Appreciate y'all coming in. Much love and peace. Hit the like, y'all. Friday, everybody. Oh, Happy Friday. It's Friday. Man. I feel like a Thursday, man. I'm running behind schedule. Do you know NASA just uh released a, a little poll talking about we had the shortest day ever. Cause the earth is rotating rotating faster. What? Yeah, so we've had the shortest day. It's only by a couple of milliseconds. The shortest day. Yeah. Today we got the shortest. I think day? it was like three days ago. The shortest day ever, <laughs> supposedly, because wow. wow. the Earth is rotating faster. So, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> I'm just a hey, you know a milliseconds. I don't know how you measured that. Yeah. So yeah, this this 24 hour day was missing three milliseconds. It's like nah, it's not bad. Hey, uh, thank you everyone for coming in. We'll be with y'all in a minute. Much love and peace. AJ and Phoenix in the place. So show your love. Uh, yeah. That's right. I was trying to hear the beat. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. As y'all come in, as y'all come in, hit the like, hit the like, hit the like, or hit the love, hit the love, hit the love, or hit the like, hit the like, hit the like, if you like. Yo, that's, that's right. Yo, like five minutes before the show, like how uh-huh. freestyles. Freestyle. Freestyle. <laughs> 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 Greetings! <laughs> Greetings, everyone! Thank you for stopping by. We'll be with y'all in a minute. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people said, AJ, Rock Dwell, Rock, you done fell off. <laughs> you ain't been in the Where you been at, man? They were just like, man, I thought, man, we thought something was wrong with you, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, hey, man, I'm in the land of the living. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thankful, thankful. We will be with y'all in a minute.
Huh. As y'all come in, as y'all come in, hit the like, hit the like, hit the like, or <laughs> hit the love, hit the love, hit the love, or hit the like, hit the love, hit the like if you like. That's right. Hey, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all feeling the vibe? You feel what I'm saying? Y'all come in, hit the like, man. Y'all may just stop in for about. I see. I see the analytics. Some of y'all come in for about 20 seconds. You feel what I'm saying? Some of y'all come in for about like 30 seconds. You feel what I'm saying? But it's all good, man. Hit the like before you leave. You feel what I'm saying? That's all. We'll be. Hey, you got two and a half minutes, man. We be. We be there with y'all in a minute. in 30 seconds you going in you know what I'm saying it's been a long time coming it's been a long time coming Jay, what's good, my bro? It's good, it's good to be back, man. Man, it's, it's been a minute. You feel what I'm saying? You you came and stop by. Yes, sir. You feel, you feel what I'm saying? You came by through the virtual last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? We in person now. But we in person, we in now. person now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, and it's a blessing. Yes, sir. It's yes, a sir. blessing. It's a blessing. Much love and peace, man. Thank everybody for stopping by. We just going to vibe because, you know, this is the Shorts Review. <laughs> the Shorts Review, we're going to get into it. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to go through uh, our shorts. Yes, sir. We ain't going to. Hey. Yeah. Hey, we don't know how this algorithm is going to go. You know what I'm saying? We have no idea. Nope. We have no idea. But you know what? But you know what? What we're going to start off is how are you? I'm doing good, man. I'm blessed, bro. I got no complaints. Man, you look healthy, man. That's you know good. what I'm saying? <laughs> you, been, you, you know what I'm saying? I, I see you've been in the gym and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> Taking also, care. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's healthy. beautiful, man. Yes, man. man. How about you, man? Oh, man. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm living, man. You feel like you living, man. You I'm living, like, man. You, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, congratulations for life. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always a blessing, man. It's always a blessing. I don't take it for granted. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, so, yeah, of course, you know what I'm saying? The ups and the downs, they come and stuff like that. I mean, shoot. I mean, if it was about, you know what I'm saying, things being merry and rosy, you know what I'm saying, then I wouldn't be here with you. Yeah, say it. Yeah. For real. A- this, this is real, though. Yeah. This is real. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. but we're back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, kind of giving a relaunch through the, the AJ show. You feel yes, what I'm sir. saying? With you being a um, definitely a guest that yes, I always wanted to, you know what I'm saying, stop by yes, and sir. talk with me. And uh, we were talking about some ideas. And I, and, I, and I hit you up, right? Yes, sir. I hit you up and I was just like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Just as somebody that knows what i do um you know what i'm saying i know you know i can do a lot of stuff you yeah. feel what i'm saying but Jack of many traits oh wrong beat we're gonna cut we're gonna cut that kind of okay, okay, okay. saying something serious yeah. sounds... <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying but but um thing too i was just like yo if there's a video that you would want me to review yeah 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 what would it be and i knew that the that the question opened up more than the record like the in it's yeah, the request. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, yo, it was just kind of like everything just went <laughs> yeah it was just kind of and i and i heard it because we were on the phone and I didn't see it, yeah. but I was just like, "This dude is somewhere, somewhere else." In it. So, yeah. I, when you asked me the question, right? I literally was like, "Yo, like the harvest is plentiful. Like it's so, yeah, so yeah. many videos, so many, like, videos. So many videos." And man. then what's so crazy is he would just and you was just like, and you know what? I could go through my shorts i'm yeah, like yeah. huh hold on i said huh? what yeah. what hold on did you say shorts huh? yeah. i'm like yo i gotta get to work yeah yeah and you did super quick <laughs> i said i gotta get to yeah, work fast. that's what's up man you feel what i'm saying i said i had to get to work man so this is where we at that's where that's that's where we are at this present time. So as we set this up, man. Um, so what's been on the mind of Phoenix? I ain't gonna hold you up, man. Like right now, I just been chilling. Okay, I've been chilling. I've been enjoying the peace, man. Uh, I'm a person that's easily overwhelmed. As as you know, in the past, we've we've done projects, and you got to stay on my head. Like, yeah, hey, bro, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> what's going on with you? I'm a person that's easily overwhelmed. So, mm. I've learned over the years uh, since I've met you, and, and definitely just in recent years, how to be able to put more on my plate, and you know, clean my plate, and then take a just a chill. Mm-hmm. So I done had some um, some photo shoots and video shoots and some uh, engagements recently, and I just finished up my last little edits. Nice. nice. See, that's what I'm talking about. You getting to work. You yeah. putting you're putting your talent and your gift to work. Yeah, yeah. See that? See that's that's come on now. Come on now. That, that's that that's that's what. That's what it's all about, man. Yeah, yeah, man. So I'm just enjoying the I'm enjoying the chill process. Now I'm just chilling. Waiting for the uh, the cash apps to roll. <laughs> hey, I mean, well, you know, that's how I, that, that's how it is. We all waiting for the cash apps yeah, to roll. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? We all waiting for the cash. So oh. now uh nice. maybe we could uh, I guess we could either focus on that or whatever like that. Yeah, 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 nice. yeah. That's fine. So so what the music? I wish I had to oh, yeah. I gotta get that. that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I gotta get that. Write that down. Take you see what I'm that. saying? So um I haven't I haven't looked at this video yet. Yeah, okay. 
Um, but it's just been looping and uh, said he wants me to sign a paper to free him from fatherhood. Mm. Now, of course, this is a frame, right? Yes, sir. This is a this is a frame yeah. that you know. So we're gonna we're gonna hear her out, you know, and see what she's talking about. Hey, my child wants to know who their fa- who their father is. Should I sign the paper? Friends with benefits. That was our agreement from the jump, and then mm. boom. friends all with good, benefits. You know what I'm saying? Agreement from the beginning, just friends with benefits. Yeah. Right. You can't sign a letter that frees him up from nothing. Once you're the father, you're the father. The, the, the state and the court don't give a damn about no letter. Well, not mm. benefits and turn into obligations. So that's one thing about benefits. After a while, sometimes the benefits turn into obligations. Mm. Now, this four-year benefit plan to turn into 18-year obligation. Mm. Don't worry about him. He'll be all right. And if he ain't, I got some friends for $500. They just travel around the country whooping people ass. Let us know if you need help. I have been dealing uh, with this gentleman for about three wait, and a half let's years. Let's hear it. Almost, I'm here one more time. Um, and six weeks ago, just her. I found out just I'm going her. to be a mother. He told me that he's going to send me a paper, um, basically, t- that he wants me to sign, saying that I six won't reach out ago. to him for any type of emotional or financial support in the future. Um, so some my question support. to you is, what if, what if one day my child wants to know who their father... Who- okay, what if... <clears throat> your ch- their child wants to know who their father is. Oh. These don't get easier, do they? Not at all. Not. <laughs> they don't get easier. I, I mean, you had what is a, a what a one night stand? Friends, what? With, friends with benefits. Friends with benefits. Friends with, that That's what agreement. you wanted, right? That was the agreement. Oh, yeah. So you had a baby. Mm. You had a baby under. The friends with benefits. The, yeah. Didn't we talk about we this? Talk, this is very we familiar. Talk, this sounds yeah, familiar. This sounds We're going to have to bring this yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. So basically, she was the fun girl. She was the fun girl. She was the fun girl, but she wanted to be the fun girl. Right. They had the agreement. They, they had the agreement, but they had babies. Mm-hmm. Thoughts. Uh, I'm I'm under the guise of if you enter a situation consciously, okay, you make an agreement. I don't agree with what Steve said. Because he like he can't you can't sign. No, no, that was your agreement. Your agreement was this is how we're going to operate. Now something happened that y'all didn't expect to happen. Yeah, he's a comedian though, and that's one yeah. thing I, I I think about him and just the fact that you're coming with these type of Questions. levels of advice yeah. <laughs> to uh, a, comedian. a comedian, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of it's just kind of like they want to hear that masculine male perspective, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. And Steve does. Keep the masculine frame. He definitely does. He keeps the masculine frame. So one thing about Steve, you know, he is assertive. He's leading. He's leading the conversation with these women. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But women usually like when men lead the conversation. I mean, yeah. granted, to this show. And thank y'all for stopping <laughs> by. Much love and peace to all of y'all. Hit the like as y'all come in, but we just having conversations. Yeah. We're just having adult conversations, mature conversations. I would have to say, um, I'm not really here to argue with anyone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we may disagree. Right. We may disagree, but at the same time, let's disagree in a respectful manner. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't. I can't rock with Steve on this one, man. I feel like if y'all had an agreement, even if if you're going into something like friends with benefits with an agreement like that, and y'all sexually active, you know, you should take into consideration. Can you check the chat? Cause I, I think we got some. Uh, we got some people in the chat, man. I'm trying to read oh, it from do. here. Um, Stacy Parker. Shout out to Stacy Parker. Yeah. Appreciate you, appreciate you, sis. Stacy says, 
a mistake shouldn't translate to the child that's older, that the mother looking for an incompetence, which will open a can of disrespect from that kid. Mm. Mm. That's that. That's the, yeah. I, I hear that. I definitely hear that. I, I, I hear all of that. I think, um, you know, yes, we should not be blaming like, and, and I think she's being honest. Yeah. She's being very she seems honest. She's very genuine. She's being honest. And, but this is the result of the friends with benefits. You feel what I'm saying? So this is her cultivating that relationship uh, to this level. And it, and it, a baby was birthed by it. So, I mean, unfortunately, I know. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. But at the same time, as adults, you have to step in and take accountability for your agreement. Now, your agreement was friends with benefits. It was never relationships. It was never, hey, I want a father for my child. You set the bar at friends with benefits. But you had a baby. You had a baby. And now you're expecting to overstep the line in the sand that you drew and drag him to the other side. It's like... But but you know what? But they both made the baby. They both at made the same the baby. time. So and, and but it just speaks to the reality of you know the of the the man usually doesn't have responsibility uh, or, or he doesn't determine if the baby is right. brought into this world yeah, and stuff no like say. that. You know you know. However, uh, she decided um, you know because if you're in a relationship like this. Um, that's not long term. There's no commitment. Right. You're only in there for the sex. Mm hmm. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? And then it didn't seem like she was upset when he went. Right. She don't see He didn't hear from her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she didn't hear from her. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just being funny. You're being yeah. funny, y'all. But, but yeah, I mean, this is a sticky situation. This is a sticky, sticky situation that are is not easy, and it's probably not going to get solved by. Uh, <laughs> see, oh, yeah. so let's see. The reason why we, all of us, mm -hmm. think that a woman cheating is way worse than a man cheating, okay, is because to a certain degree, in our minds and the rest of the world's minds. A man has conquered our woman. Mm. And wow. that makes us feel like, okay, you're not really my woman anymore because another man has came in, that's right. in, inside but, of your body you and conquered really? you yeah, and done true. the same thing I'm doing. So now, the reason why mm. we, all of us, mm -hmm. think that a woman cheating is way worse than a man cheating is because to a certain degree in our minds and the rest of the world's minds, so oh, all right, so that was that was the loop. So, did you catch what he said? Yeah, definitely. What I, what did you catch? I agree one hundred percent. Uh, in in layman's terms, what he's saying is, it it feels more impactful for a man when it's dealing with infidelity because it feels like another man has conquered my land, basically. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's about perspective. It's about the perspective, especially when you when you add to the situation that uh, disregarding assault, you know, that's a that's allowed of the woman. You know what I'm saying? So for you to reach that level of agreeability, I'll say for you to allow another man into you and you're my girl, it, it wasn't just no happenings chance. You know what I'm but saying? But the question is, and see that this is a real question. Is that your girl for real? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I mean, but is that your girl for real? But see, but the thing is, but this goes on both sides. Let me tell you that. Mm. If that's your girl for real, then why does she entertain all these relationships. Why does mm -hmm. she do? But also, it goes on the opposite side. Yeah. If that's, that's your girl for real, yeah. you just gonna let her go? You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so, and that's and that's the thing when when we think about it goes on both sides, man. Yeah, yeah. 
And the thing That's is, it. see, but at the end of the day, yeah, for the most part, infidelity, well, let's just be real. The woman was gone a long time, time ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was out of there before she before she was out of there. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the press. Stop the press. Uh we only got one reaction. Just one? We only got one like. I don't like that. So what we gonna do? <laughs> we gonna go back into the queue and we gonna let this we gonna we gonna uh shut it down for a minute. You feel what I'm saying? We're gonna shut it down for a minute until we get them likes up. You feel what I'm saying? He said we We're gonna shut it down for a minute, get these likes up. You feel what I'm saying? Cause it's just kinda like, hey, you know what I'm saying? If we got two people, we should at at least have two likes, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. we just gonna shut it down. Much love and peace, y'all. You feel what I'm saying? Can I get my two likes? Just two. Can I get my two likes if it's... All right, we back. So, what's up? <laughs> but, so, with this situation, men are just more territorial. Definitely. So, it is like a, a, a man conquering the woman. Yeah. But the thing is, that's looked at in Barbary, uh, Barbary Turner. You see how they're looking? Look how yeah. they're looking at him. It's almost like they're trying to yeah, yeah, yeah. find something you you, you know what I'm saying? i don't know how the response is yeah but let's but let's just be real the the topic of cheating the topic of cheating is not uh, i mean i i think it's the single people hmm. are are talking about it like this but singleness is a mentality yeah yeah Singleness is a mentality, and and to a certain degree, when we think about uh, America, you know, we all been bred to be more independent, the ind- individualism, yeah, yeah, all that type stuff. So, so the thing is, you you know, this is this is just reality. So, you know, he's saying his piece. You know, I I, I definitely understand where he come uh, he's coming from. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. No man, uh is is really what man is gonna play second fiddle nobody not not no what what man i don't is know gonna what play kind of man fiddle. i don't know what kind of man is just gonna willingly do that i don't even think that's the kind of a man that a woman can really respect for real somebody who just put themselves in the in the pocket you know that's a fun thing. So, but but it's interesting. So you know they drinking and stuff like that. So I I, I would be interested to know what their response is. Of course, you know, you want to, you know, play semantics and stuff like that and talk about conquering and, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I think that's where we will actually go wrong at in this case. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. In, in, in the male, female dialogue, the the you know, we got to, we got to be more mature. Like, what is wrong with you, my nigga? Uh, you got my bad head? queen you slip. Fuck that little elbow shit, man. What? What, that what boy Queen you Slip. Violated, you violated. You violated. I, I guess that's just the yeah, funny one. I used to freestyle, freestyle a lot. And as I started getting bigger, it was like. I used to freestyle a lot. And that, that boy can't 22. freestyle. Can a black guy do well in Romania? You can do well. 
what? And you know how he'd be doing like that. Oh, this is just a random like, short yeah, feed. I yeah, see. this yeah, is yeah, like, yeah, we're going to have this is daily by another rap crew. And it's unfair to yeah, people yeah, like I me like who work hard, hard and now I got to provide for another kid. Like, nah, I can't. Every time I meet a new woman, I get to know her. She got a kid. She got two baby daddies. She got three baby daddies. Thing shit. Her mentality <laughs> is all up. Now I got to work 10 times harder for something that somebody else got for free. But my that's name's what you like, attract, you know Women with children. No, mm. that's the majority of the women in my community. And what do you think majority of men have? He more five, more women. Same way these yeah, women yeah, have yeah. more baby fathers. Women Future has eight baby mamas. Who's the sexually irresponsible one? Future or the baby mama? Both. No, it's one. I mean, no. It's eight women that know Both. that. No, it's do one dude. Do you feel the same way with Nick? Yep. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough conversation. You think they're going to go there with us today? <laughs> Well, I, I feel you, I think you, you can relate to him, right? I can relate to him. All right. Tell me how you I, can, I can relate, relate to him. To him. Uh, As a single man, um, I do find it difficult. Single young man. Single young man. Yeah. Man, that's it. Yeah. Please qualify yeah, that. Yeah. Single young man. I do find it difficult, man. I, I had these conversations with a few of my brothers where, uh, you know, you traverse in the dating market and you run across women. And unfortunately, nowadays I don't know what it is. More times than not, they got they got kids. They either have a child or multiple children, and if not by one person, by multiple men. Mm -hmm. So you'll find that that comes with a certain capacity of trauma. It comes with a, uh, a certain capacity of uh, your trauma. No, nah, not my trauma. I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right, so. Him, right? How he's coming? Yeah, yeah. He sounds like he he's highly upset about this. He does. He does. Yeah, let's listen to this dude yeah, again because yeah. I, I his energy. The sexually is, irresponsible yeah, one. Future or the baby mom? Both. both. No, it's one. I mean, no, it's eight women that know both. that. No, it's do you one feel dude. The same way with Nick? Yes, I do feel the same way with Nick. It's one that's sexually irresponsible. You got eight women that's sexually irresponsible. Who y'all? It ain't both. equal. Most of the women in my community have. Yeah, I get it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I, I get it. I mean, uh, so that are these are are these are these conversations even worth having with certain people? Man, but that that's what I, I'm just like. I mean, it's it's you gotta you have to be in a in a particular place to have. Now, you're going to have these conversations regardless, but in order to have these conversations effectively and in a manner that's edifying, you got to have them in certain spaces. And a lot of times, I watch this podcast, Daily Wrap-Up Crew is pretty dope. Okay. And uh, they, you, these, these gentlemen here, they usually have very conducive, uh, you know, shows and whatnot. Uh, what you'll find is... They're having the conversation. I yeah, mean, they're yeah. having a conversation. You'll find it, it'll get hype every now and then, but, you know, it's, it's relatively tame. But that's a controlled environment. But we need to have the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely need to have a conversation because that's, he's, he's that's right. the main thing. He's right about uh, sexual irresponsibility. As you was, and uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if you know the stat, but uh, recently this the stat came out that uh, black women have twice as many kids as black men, and that blew my mind. Like, uh, not only that, I mean, I think it's also because the nature of women, you know, is to date. You know, they well, gonna, women, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah they, women have kids. So. They gonna have, yeah. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. They, they, they bear children. They more, they more likely to yeah. bear have children. Bear. Yeah, you know. So they, they also, or they want to date the best, like anybody. You want to date the best. So, uh, I think it's like eighteen percent of black men are responsible for eighty percent of black children. I'm like, yo, like, I don't even know how true uh, that is, but it seems outlandish to even, if that is remotely true, it's outlandish. So to his, his regard to say that, you know, in the case he's using future who represents the top 10, 1% of men, you know, with his income to have 10, 10 children. It says most women. women are sexually irresponsible. Here's why. I don't think most women are sexually responsible. Not most. It's not most. most women are sexually irresponsible. Yeah, you know I, don't, I don't think I, most. I mean, you, you know what? And this is the conversation I think that 
comes from Kevin Samuels, right? Yeah, he, he's rest one of in that. peace, you know. And to a certain degree, it was also a maturity and sophistication with this conversation. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, but you know, of course, the entertaining value, but and then his, uh, his, um, audacity that's the word, that's the word, <laughs> audacity, yeah, that's the word, to see himself as someone to be respected. Yeah, that's that's the word, that's the having word. The audacity. I and I think that's important. For men to have, that's a masculine frame. It so is. Like, it is. So that, that's where I, even this young man, he's he's presenting a young masculine yeah. flame right here. You know, the only only thing that I, I would I would say with the conversations between men and women, young men and women, is that you feel uh, it's it's like the conversation is only as impactful is our own life mm. is. You know how, how we hold it, yeah. How our own life is yeah. beat us. So, it took a while to get out, y'all. You know yeah, what I'm I, saying? So, like, you know, so if we're going to have these conversations, we can't be just looking at future. Yeah. We yeah. can't. See, and that's one thing that, that's, that's the reason why Kevin Samuels never really made that argument Right, right, because right. they it, because it, it, they talked about uh you know he did talk about like and let's just be honest a lot of black people focus on celebrities, athletes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you feel what I'm saying? So they look at their you, you know their idea of some type of relationship through these yeah. Yeah, celebrities, yeah. not the lawyers, not the the yeah. pharmacists or the the, the doctors yeah, yeah. the the engineers or you know the people you know, or, or even the people who who have uh you know uh various professional careers but yeah. much love to the professionals out there you know what i'm saying that's, very that's true. making it that's that's keeping society going yeah, that's very true I, I agree in all aspects of life so so we we just we're gonna get respect on this podcast. So okay. so the thing is, you know what I'm saying, I get it. Uh, I I think of course like with young Zeal, I I I understand this young man. I seen yeah. I seen the Zeal and uh I love the background and stuff. I love yeah, the, what they crazy. doing. So yeah. we just gonna keep it moving on that end. I went to see Jimmy Iveen. Oh, let me. I went to see Jimmy Iveen. Jimmy Iveen wrote me a check for a million dollars. Say you the next. That's Master P. Master P. Yeah. And I read, you know, by me going to college, I'm reading through the contract. I'm thinking about the Michael Jordan deal. It was a million dollars. I had to, I couldn't use my name for seven years. All this stuff, and they'll take all my rights. I say, sir, I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm gonna come back. He said, if you don't come back, you'll never get a deal in this town, because mm. I know everybody. So I left, never came back. Me and my brother on the plane. Me and C, we on the plane, about mm. to fight. He like, bro, why you ain't take the million dollars? I'm like, bro, that white man offered me a million dollars. How much you think I'm worth? Mm. That shut him up right there on the plane. He just put his head down. I said, man, I gotta be worth 30 or 40. So we left and uh, finally, a couple months later, Priority Records came in. And I'm talking to the guy at Priority Records. I said, I only want to Hmm. So this speaks to how we had these conversations. Yeah. So let's just keep it real. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it an extra buck. Yeah. Let's let's take his frame. Master B. Yeah. What he just said. If she popping off at me, how much more am I worth? Mm. If she offering this level of herself to me. Mm. How much am I really worth? How much more am I really worth? Mm. And how much more I need to investigate that mm. and not just take the first deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That comes my way. That's important. Because I am valuable. Yeah. I think even to that regard of what you just said, a lot of people base their own value off of through the perspective of another person. 
it's kind of like we got a we got a nine to five and whatnot, mm-hmm. and they come to you. They like, oh, we'll give you twelve dollars for this position. Now you feel like twelve dollars is a lot because this company offers you twelve, not knowing you can do your own thing like he did. And if they giving me twelve for for sixty minutes, what can I do in sixty minutes that'll get me more than twelve? Right. Because I know for a fact if I was helping somebody move for an hour and they came to me with twelve dollars, here you go. <laughs> I want to be PO like right. Well, bucks like so. How much are you? Are we really worth? A lot of times we base our self worth off of the amount that people put or offer us, like what they see. Like okay, we see that this is worth this, and you know that's not to say that the market oftentimes doesn't determine the value of what a person has. But if you can take that same value and increase it yourself, or find another person that's offering more, mm-hmm. you should take that. Like you said, it's, let me explore this. Because if I'm worth 12 to you, and this is Target, you know what I'm saying? Let me go see, you know, what they're doing over here at uh, whatever other place, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's a fact. Let's, let's see what else they got. For seven years, all this stuff. And they'll take all. DC, why the hell you ain't tell me I ain't New York, nigga? Man, how you? Oh, I have a question, though. Do you really hook up with fans, or is that like a hype up? I do. Like, after this, uh, I'm actually doing a fuck a fan. Really? Where? Say what? In my hotel. Wow. I'm right. We got to find hey, a way to cue these. Thank you. Uh uh. Do you order a spray? Yeah. Ain't no spray? No, put it in reverse. What it is? This is sweet tea. Oh no, that's straight in. No, it's not. Put it in reverse. And what the hell? It's she didn't even have ordered stuff. a sprite. Thank you. I'm sorry about it. Sorry for what? That's her job. You spending your money, you finna get this sprite. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's funny. This is, I, don't, I don't really the attitude. I, hey, I guess you fine. Honestly, I honestly don't feel like you need to invite yourself everywhere. Can you please give us a call before Audit, you... if you give me a key to the apartment, I'm going to show up. <laughs> if you guys are going out to hang out, I'm going to feel like you're inviting me if you're not clear on what you're doing. It's not about me not respecting boundaries. I know. It's, it's, not, <laughs> it's not about me not respecting boundaries. It's just about what you're clear on. If you're not clear on the stuff that you say, I'm going to show up. Oh, God, that happened. What's this? <sighs> this like the Steve This is He's... crazy. <laughs> it's a crazy situation. My man seemed like he this is why got some type of you. attachment disorder. I just do or something. not know where to go from here. It's <laughs> I don't get it. It's not even about that. I'm April's in the positions that I said that I play. I want to make this clear. I play Godfather to both of her children. April's been there for me a lot of times, you know. Oh, and like okay. we've been friends for a long time. So you're her boyfriend and mm. I'm her best friend. And I feel like until you put a ring on it. Honestly, don't feel like you need to invite mm. you no, that's real, though. everywhere. Can you please give us a call before Audit, you... If you give me a key to the apartment, I'm going to show up. So, so listen. Like, oh, hold on. So <laughs> listen. <laughs> so listen. <laughs> so listen. Huh? I don't understand. Now, see. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, and look, look. So, I ain't going to front. Look at him. Yeah. And then look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's something, something ain't, something ain't right. Hold on. This. Look at him. Yeah. Look at and him. then look at him. And then look at the girl. This is, something ain't right about this. She gave it. She gave her best friend a key to a her apartment. A best friend? A key to huh? her apartment. Huh? Because. Ladies. Help me out with this one. I need, I need. Listen, a- hold on. Let's look, let's, let's, let's do this and again. I feel like until you. Put a ring on it. I honestly don't feel like you need to invite yourself everywhere. He said, I don't feel you like. Please give us a call. Do you hear him? You I'm not feel like. He, I'm going to show He's in up. the lower. Yeah. He's, if you guys he's are some... going out to hang out, I'm going to feel like you're inviting me. If now you're you see the, the difference doing. in their energy. He it's said, I, I mean, he's leading. He's yeah. He's leading their relationship. Their relationship, yeah. yeah. Respecting boundaries is just about what you're clear on. Yeah, no. Bro, he's telling him how to communicate. I'm going to show up. 
I'm going to yeah. show up. He ain't say I feel. He this said is what crazy. I'm going to do. <laughs> it's a crazy situation. He said this is crazy. So, and look, my man, he's like, I'm not laughing. Yeah. He smiled. Look at he's him. He's not laughing at all. But look at he serious. He said, actually, he said, that's your woman, but that's my woman. That's basically. That's your woman? That's our, that's our girl. <laughs> no, you can have her. But she my. Just that's your girl, but that's my woman. Yeah, we just gonna keep her at your house. <laughs> that's your girl. You can have it. Hey, that's your girl. You take care of her. Yeah, that's my woman. Pay her bills and all that type of stuff, but that's my woman. Bro, it's crazy. And look at him. Look at him. He looks so... He, he looks regressed almost. My bro. Yeah, my bro, you it's like, not. You might as well. Did you get in through the friend zone? <laughs> Got to. You must have. You must be her. You you have to be her second choice. <laughs> Unfortunately, see, look, he's smiling. Look yeah. at my man. Oh, she man. like him. Yeah. You see how confident he is, bro? Look at her. When they. I need her. to see her. Look Hold her. on. Hold on. Cause she ain't. What is this is the guy. I play Godfather to both of her children. Okay. I play Godfather. A lot of look at her, yes. Yeah. And like we've been, she like him. She, yeah, look at the gays. She like him. She knows she's wrong, but she like can't help it. She, but he the one. Oh boy, that is taking care of the kids. Mm -hmm. He's the provider. He's the one that's not gonna cheat, right? You're right. The one that she should love. But look at this. It's crazy. The My man. In the energy. The difference in the energy is ridiculous. My man, like he said, he came on and said, I feel like. I ain't going to front. He's a, he's a, a, um, I mean, look at it. He, he's nice and tailored, suited up, looking good. He fresher than him. Man. Like, let, let, let's, just, let's just be honest about that. Your head. best friend is fresher than in your husband. Hands. Yeah. She's on a, I, and, and, and then I can come. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, you know I you call it shadow or shallow if you want, but nah. What's this? Let me see. Hey, they making a smoothie. Little uh, peanut, uh, peanut butter, peanut butter, blueberry. Watermelon plum, just call it fruit punch. I'm an old rapper, getting new bucks. And all your new rappers, you are just new lunch. <laughs> Flow sick, so sick, need a doc, yes. A creature monster like the Loch Ness. I gets hotter by the tick, so I sizzle to death. I just tell the clock, give me a sec. I'm in the middle of the wall where my enemy yet. I'm running it like Eric, Eric, be enemy back. <laughs> uh. I hear the track, I'm like an energy Facts. The instruments are crying out where the sympathy at. <laughs> the instruments are crying. Oh. So you sympathy can't tell me about loving a black, so black man unconditionally. I didn't love the black man unconditionally. But see, I didn't love the this black is where they about to get us, oh. friend. I black man pull. And this is where you got to tag me in, friend. I didn't love the black man that he didn't have nothing. Friend, after this, She's you going to let me talk. She's meant to. So please. Okay. Tell him you definitely been. You, you finished? Please. Off you finish your chest. Finish. And I did not try to change him. Yeah. I stood beside that man. I love that man. For who he I was. was. there for that man. But that Okay? All right. All right. That Look, can, let, me, let me get that Let me get Let me get Ah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this is why therapy is so. It's, um, it's hilarious. Yeah, what you say? It's funny, but it's not funny. It's not funny. It's funny, it's but it's not funny. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like I don't. G These are our communication skills. Mm -hmm. See, this is the problem. Yeah, it's not the fact that she doesn't have good sentiments or she's not coming from a genuine place. It's the communication. Like I stopped wanting to listen to her. Yeah, the moment she started. You know what I'm saying? Language. And seeing the thing is, no one's entitled to listen to you. Not at all. No one has to listen to you. There used to be, uh, it, it, well, when we talk about just social skills and communication skills. Right. 
Well, anger is not a good look. And, and, and everybody, if you see, like, everybody just looking around, just look at everybody that's looking, looking at, her. at her. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It's just kind of like, oh, dang. This is, you know, you, you could tell who the hosts are because they smiling because they like, this This is beautiful, Abuse. right? Yeah. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? They're giving a the concert. Everybody like, dang. You see, she going off. She's venting. She's literally communicating. And, and, and to a certain degree, I don't know what she was trying to say. I, I, I'm trying yeah, 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 yeah. So you can't tell me about loving a black man unconditionally. So you, I didn't love wait. the black man unconditionally. I'm just see, trying to see. This is where they about to get us, friend. I didn't love the black man pull. And this is where you going to tag me in, friend. I didn't love the black man that he didn't have nothing. Right after this, She's you going to let me talk. Vented. She's meant it. So please. Okay. Tell her, please. Tell her, you, you, you finished? Please. Off you finish your chest. Finish. And I did not try to change him. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. What's this? Like, bitch is all the same. Bitch. You complain all the time about don't nobody want your asses. Don't know how to treat you. Yeah. As soon as a man or brother show you genuine interest, your bitches act simple. Is this uh, a way next? I was way next to a white woman we're gonna leave that alone man this is like it's like these like the girls is like you, you know what all of these conversations are are triggering they are. are emotionally traumatic yeah yeah so cheating all these like so it's hard to even talk about dealing with these certain issues when they're so triggered yeah, and so fueled yeah. with past experiences or has stories that somebody's gave fables. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Those stories. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Victim story. Victims. Uh, and, you know, not all victims, uh, I mean, real victims, you know, but we all, uh, we all have been a, a real victim at, at one man. time in yeah. our life. So, you know, so it's, it's really just about what Gilly got this? You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I ain't, I ain't ready. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't ready. Not Tate. Oh yeah, Tate. Tate be tripping, man. Understanding of their status. Women are very, very intelligent. I know how people say I'm a salty and people say I say. He's he's one. He's triggering. Yeah. He triggered. Charleston. That yeah. yeah. My ex husband, who now lives in, on the other side of the country. We got to stay in a Steve Harvey zone. We may do Steve uh, Harvey. Steve Harvey zone. And I have a problem with that for two reasons. One, yeah, do Steve Harvey. Um, two, he's actually living with the girl that he cheated on me with. But I, I want her to have a relationship with her dad that's very important for me. So my question is, am I being selfish for not sending her out there? See, that, that's, what's, that's, that's what the real problem is. The problem ain't him and him not being stable. You trying to find some more reasons not to send him. You you only got one reason. Huh, she the reason. Mm. No, you not necessarily, because oh, what's the other reason? In general. Oh. Oh, you no, can say no, what no. you want to say. Go ahead. I'm listening, though. Go ahead. This, this is what Hey Steve is about. Come it, on, let's have this little therapy. Uh, 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 it's just him in general more so. Like, I wouldn't mind him coming out here and hanging out with his daughter. Like, he doesn't mm. want to play with me. Like, he got to come that. out but there with a woman ain't that. I'm not going to get to my daughter if there's a problem and you're unstable already as it is. Mm. I have a five-year-old daughter that I share with herself. my ex-husband who now lives in, on the... She told on herself. Steve was right. He said the problem is her. She said the problem is him is in general. But then she follows that up by saying, I wouldn't have a problem if he came out here. Well, he you don't yeah, have a problem see, with that because it's see, away from that see, woman. But this is see, this is the thing. She's talking on the Steve Harvey show <laughs> to work out this problem. Mm -hmm. Broadcast. That's the main problem. Yeah, it broadcast it. <laughs> That's the main problem. And 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 the thing is. So, so Steve is a little, you know, hey, he, he got, he, he has men's back sometimes, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like in that case, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But it's like these real conversations, this is what we talking about. Yeah, these right. real conversations have to be had between adults mm. and see, and to be honest with you, it opens up uh, Steve to ask these type of questions because, you know, the comedy is kind of like that. Um, 
that raw reality. It helps you yeah. deal with that raw That's reality. Fact, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? So he's asking some of those good therapeutic questions mm-hmm. uh, that a therapist won't won't frame it like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Won't say that it's all about. But basically, it's something. It's something that's keeping you, and it's not just him, quote unquote, being stable. Because pretty much he was the same man that you was with yeah, all this yeah, time, right. and now he's with another woman. Now it's a problem. Of course, he was unstable, probably trying to get on his feet. But if you making it about like, you know, but the thing is, but that's the conversation that needs to be had yeah. between two adults. So, and that that's really they have a great relationship. Really, How much do you weigh? That's none of Uh-oh. your business. I go. told you I was sad. Go, okay. The, the, we don't play that shit on my channel. You get All right. We, we ain't gonna go there. Woo! Nah, that's, uh... Man. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The guy who is most able to afford the beach house is the least able to enjoy it. God, mm. why is that? He goes out to his beautiful beach house, he pulls out his laptop, and he's working. Oh. Right? He can't just sit there and smell the breeze. And, and mm. Why is that? It's because the guy who can afford to the beach house was born with a pretty powerful dopamine system, mm. and he, um, it, it's hard for him to turn it off. Oh, it's he was to driven and driven and driven, and that's what allowed him to get the resources that he never had in order to buy the beach house. Right. Yeah, and then now he's got the beach house. He can't turn it off and enjoy the beach house. Mm. He's thinking about what's next, the the next deal he's going to do, the trip to Europe, who knows what. The guy who is... Well, see, but that's that's uh, just dopamine, right? Yeah. Um, let's, just, let's just be honest. Uh, shout out to TMV. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dopamine... Because it's dope, I mean. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, eating food, exercising, yeah. doing drugs, yeah. having yeah. sex. Yeah. And in this case, what he's saying is working. Work ethic. Yeah. Workaholic. Yeah. Like, so the person that works so much to get the beach house can enjoy it. Can enjoy it because. Of, I enjoy the dopamine hit than the actual achievement that yeah, I. Yeah. So and but that just speaks to just the the reality of how Americans are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is not part. so. And 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 to just to be honest, like you know, people who are successful are successful for a reason. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? So and and the thing is. You can't always look at somebody else's success as your success. Come on now. Yes, you can't look at that journey. Yeah. It's not copy and paste. Because you looking at his beach house. Yeah, yeah. You looking at his, you know what I'm saying, his biz and stuff like that. But he don't even get to enjoy the beach house. Right. That's a fact. Come on, man. I came so, to the conclusion earlier this year man like just just being in that rat race the cycle i was like man you know what i i'm a i'm a simple man i aspire to have simple things i don't want to be in a position like that whereas i work so hard that i can't enjoy this well, you know, labor man, let's just be real the beach house is for later it's for later yeah <laughs> it's like, ah, beach house for later you know what i'm saying you know what i'm we on the street bro we on the street. We still trying to make some money. I dig it. I dig we still it. out here. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, but at the same time, it's a life lesson. And that's what mindfulness is. Mm-hmm. Mindfulness is being able True. to stop and smell the roses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether you are the gardener or you're the CEO. That's a fact. Whether you are the student. Or you're the teacher. teacher. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's what, uh, you know, the concept of mindfulness. Mm. Yeah. I, I taught actually, us. You know what I'm saying? I make that a purpose when I feel like I'm working too much. I literally go outside, stop, deep breath. Yeah. Just take it all in. Because like you said, it don't matter if you're the gardener or the CEO. Being mindful of where you are, but being driven by dopamine, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the that's the thing. Like we say, we driven be driven by dopamine. Yeah, that's a you know hit. what I'm saying? And how 
we think that it's only drugs, but it's nah, not just nah, the nah. drugs, man. It's uh, you know, work. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying work gets you that, and the the sense of achievement that can achieve that could also be a good thing. That's gonna be a good thing yeah, in yeah. life, but yeah. it can also be something where you missing out on life. So, but it's not good or bad as much as what do you want? Mm. What do you want? Right. What comes what from this? What do you want? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And you have to give yourself what you want and you need at the time and even if you can't enjoy it, enjoy it fully right at least take a little bit of yeah stop yeah. and smell the roses yeah yeah able to afford the beach house nice 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 like it I I lived and died by that PFL, like that player for life. Yeah. Like I I went through some phases in my player career, and I'm like, you know, you look at the game now. Sure. With the whole, you know, I walk in the club as a respected player. Right, right. And the game is so fucked up now. These little brothers still like, hey, you know, they flirting with a nigga. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, little bitch is still like me. And <laughs> then the bitch say, That's funny. Hey, first date we experience. First date together? Yeah. She remembers our first date together. I remember because our Because what happened? I paid for the ride. You, I know you was going to say that. You didn't pay for the ride. date, though. I didn't. What happened? Well, <laughs> no. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> we went to a party. There was nothing to pay for after we got there. So she came with her seat. And I'm, you know, I'm paying for the cab ride, but then I'm watching the meter, and I'm running out of money. And he turns I, to me and says, I have no money. I didn't say that. You turned to me. <laughs> oh, I can remember. I see where I am. I was on the, I was right behind the driver. Okay. And what happened? Jesus is Lord. I paid for it. You paid the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. And it was back in the days where the cab drivers had the lid. What? Sounds like Spike was right. <laughs> and I've been paying every cent. <laughs> why do I say dear women? I don't, I don't understand it. That was a dope story. I have a friend from high school who's kind enough to let me stay at his place rent free. Excuse me. His place. It's just a friend, though. We've been friends rent since free. high school. Rent free. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't want to overstay my welcome. I'm definitely right. a little bit worried about that. <laughs> But what if I do? Are there any signs, any hints I should look for? Let me explain something to you about guys. Okay. We're your friend only for one reason and one reason only. Because you have made it clear that this is all it is. So what we do is we hang around on the perimeter, mm -hmm. circling, waiting on a crack in the door. As mm -hmm. soon as we see a crack, guess what? Need a place to stay in L.A.? You stay in my place rent free. You want to go? <laughs> then you're going to go. Nothing I can say is going to stop you. But just remember when you get out there, men don't do anything for free. No, it's not how we make. You can have any guy in this room, man. If they were honest, would you let a girl? The boy spoke some actual factual on that one. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, he got to run that back. It's just a friend, though. We've been friends since high school. Just a friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just a friend since high school. I don't want to overstay my welcome. I'm definitely right. a little bit worried about that. <laughs> But what if I do? Are there any signs, any hints I should look for? Let me explain something to you about guys. Okay. We're your friend only for one reason and one reason only. Because you have made it clear that this is all it is. So what we do is we hang around on the perimeter, circling, waiting on a crack in the door. As soon as we see a crack, guess what? Need a place to stay in L.A.? You stay in my place rent free. You want to go to L.A., right? Yeah. Okay, then you're going to go. Nothing I can say is going to stop you. Right. But just remember when you get out there, Men don't do anything for free. Hey, come mm -hmm. on, come on, come on, come hey. on. Now, you know what I'm saying? See, and this is uh, a woman trying to get her foot in, right? Mm -hmm. Into the industry. And um, she had a high school friend. Right. In L.A., right? Did you say L.A.? Or whatever, whatever, but they're in L.A. Yeah. And she's trying to Make a probably career move down there. Need somewhere to stay. I'm in LA. <laughs> you can stay with me. Rent free. Just <laughs> sometimes I question. <laughs> I question are women that gullible or do they play? Yeah, court? she's trying to make a play. She's yeah. trying to make a play. And to be honest with you, I want to see how he looks. Yeah. And I want to see if she's attracted to him. Mm. 
I ain't trying to be funny though. Yeah, because she's a very attractive girl. So, but I'm just wondering, what's the parallel? did she did she just find somebody who was that was on Facebook and stuff like that, and she's taking advantage of the situation yeah. because he probably like her from high school, and he's being a what they say a um a beta male orbiter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he orbited. That that's basically what what Steve was saying. Steve was saying yeah. that he was being a beta male. Orbiter, nice guy. Nice guy. Yep. <laughs> Waiting around for the kink and the armor. You feel what I'm saying? And but at night, that boy ain't getting no play. Quiet. You just really, you know, because let's just be real. If she really wanted to get with you, she wouldn't even wait it that long at the high school. See well, she, it sounds like she's trying to make a play though. But yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Jock. You don't even gotta be. What's that, that little baby? That's Kendrick. Yeah. Is that the baby, though? Uh -huh. Is that the baby? That boy in. That boy. I like who I like. You could be whoever, as long as you make my heart bump. I, I ain't gonna Give hold y'all, but make heart lie, don't let them slide, man. Yeah, yeah, we'll spin, try spin, a, spin the block. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the problem. Insult. Get that, and get that yeah, why do women oh, yeah. get case. away with using as an insult to straight men? And nobody from the LGBT says anything, but let a, let a straight man say anything like, yo, that's gay. And y'all quick to try to cancel that. That's a fact, guys. I feel like women could get away with it because um, males and women they work so close together it's not really like an insult really. but is it insult to us did you get insulted you know i don't get insulted by that so yeah I don't, mm. I don't feel like like i feel like a man saying another man saying it because i feel like it's already a thing like saying what i'm trying to see what it, saying what uh homosexual you don't even gotta be a gangster i like who i like you could be yeah. whoever you don't have someone at 35 doesn't mean you keep going to 60 and 70 again going to extremes i'm 53 because, that's not extreme no but you keep mentioning 60 talking to your mic talking to your mic you keep yeah. mentioning 60 60, 70, that's extreme from 35. But that's because you don't you don't go from you haven't mentioned okay a woman at 40. Yeah. Black men will oh, cut boy. their piece off before they hold another black man accountable. Hey girl, <laughs> who held you accountable when you got pregnant by a married man that you knew was married already? Oh. You're in no position to talk about accountability. Oh not men won't hold other men accountable. But you had a baby to a married man. Somebody's husband. Yeah. If you could get rid of one thing in your life for a whole year, what uh, would yeah, you yeah, choose? Yeah. I think I've seen this. Uh, my wife. <laughs> Date me. I learned this lesson when I was young. My mom used to say this to me, and I had to really think about this. And she used to Just tell me all the night. time. If we Don't all threw, Sorry, if we all threw our problems in a pile, I guarantee you would take your shit back and run. So let that let that sit in for a little bit. Mm. Think about it. I learned this lesson when I was young. My mom used to say this to me, and I had to really. Think yeah, about you know what I'm saying. It. It's like tell me all the time. If like mm. learn to love your own mess and yeah. to deal with. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. I hate to say it like this. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to downplay nobody's struggle. But sometimes we just complain too much. Oh, this is going wrong. This is going wrong. Oh, this ain't this. And this ain't. it's like, yo, you do realize that if you took accountability for the majority of the situations, whether you got yourself into them or not, you would develop the wherewithal to deal with your problems huh? more effectively. So you huh? would complain less and you huh? like you know what i'm saying like i i have friends and all they do is complain like what are you complaining huh? for? and they have no idea they have a, no idea of the reason why hey yo uh also won't y'all hit the like y'all hit the like <laughs> oh whatever y'all y'all need to at least hit the like as y'all come in you know what i'm saying we we just having the the you know what i'm saying the good conversation yes, come sir. on y'all you know what I'm saying? Hit the like. I'm going to start threatening y'all. <laughs> <laughs> sure, man. People just complain too much, man. When I learned that don't nobody want to hear me complain, I was like, all right. <laughs> like, yeah. Nobody want to hear that. Like, 
When somebody hit you with the, oh, that's crazy. Too many times, you're like, ain't nobody listening to you. Yeah, man, why? Come in. Hit the like. Hit the like. Hit the like. If you like. Hit the like. If you like. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want you to use going in too much, man. They they need to hit the like, man. Hey, they need to use going in too much. You feel what I'm saying? Come on, y'all. You know what I'm saying? If y'all y'all up in here, man, hit the like, man. Stop playing. Stop playing. You feel what I'm saying? But no, nah, for real. Like, uh, uh, accountability is, you, you, you know, you know, it, it's almost like everybody is fighting for their right for their own individual individuality and identity and you feel what I'm saying yeah. you know they're constantly fighting to be what they want to be yeah you feel what I'm saying that's that's the move nowadays you feel what I'm saying it's yeah. it's it's funny real talk this is I think it's a trend almost like it's I don't know. It's getting out of hand for one. Like I don't. I don't. Yeah, I'm not the venture into those deep. But, but, but you know what? I think it's just you know the accountability. It, it comes from. It's just like that's why like the younger conversation is different because a lot of the conversation that they have about relationships they haven't even I'm had yeah. a relationship. They yeah. haven't even invested in one. It's almost like you know you become a. Um, you know a business analyst but you you never had no money in the market you right, never had right. a product that you had to try to yeah, sell yeah, you yeah. have a, a i mean let's it's trial and error that comes in relationships you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like you have to be you have to be in one be involved in one and cooperate yeah in one you feel what i'm saying to really get you, you know get down to you know, and, and really can speak on it, not just from a debating standpoint. Yeah. You ever been down in Crenshaw's Lawson? Yeah. All right, it's a big light, big. Uh, so real quick, when you say the things you say about certain black men, why can't our rebuttal be, well, you must hate your father, you must hate your brother, you got a son, do you hate your son? Like, First why all, is that not all rhetoric? No, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. No, but, but please don't ever. Don't all right, ever. I, I don't apologize. Don't ever. But why? Ever. What I'm trying to say is, not my son. Why, I can't believe the same Yeah, what but I'm trying to say is, don't son. ever. I understand. Never what I'm trying to say up. is, why is don't that ever never a reciprocation from black men? Some women say all these hateful things. We don't go to you. It hate could your be. You hate your father. You hate your brother. It could be. Oh, okay. So that's probably. I feel like y'all are not taught not to speak up like that. Yeah. So let's first talk about how y'all are not. Y'all are not. Um, I never said that y'all speak in that way. I don't get it. Uh, it you, you feel what I'm saying? I ain't gonna front. Like, like it's hard for me to even hear what the conversation when they talk in this tone it's, yeah it's just like what are we talking about it's just kind of like i'm sure i would have found out but i was trying to really get the nug uh um it said title woman gets triggered well you know what i think that's that's the thing about just always getting triggered and and holding others responsibility for your emotion yeah 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 Nobody holds the rein. To it's funny. Emotions. You feel what I'm saying? It's funny when we do that. Yeah. It's funny when we do that, when we hold people responsible for uh, our we, emotions, yeah. when we need to deal with what's going on with yeah. us. Yeah. So that's the accountability part. That's the mental wellness part, dealing with mental health and mental wellness, not only from a emotional standpoint, because that's one of the biggest things. But even these social environments, are these actual social environments actually cultivating like if, if if like for example if this particular woman i don't know who she is or these two women right mm -hmm. here you know what i'm saying seems like she, she get real pat you know what i'm saying it can't yeah yeah you know if, if this is a trigger environment maybe they need, need to deal either. with the conversation in a different yeah different way but this is entertaining you feel what i'm saying as you can see the the men are taking upon the masculine frame hey, of of um the structure mm -hmm. of the conversation. So even like when you look at these conversations, as I can see, 
you know, they're the ones that's actually bringing order. They're the ones that I'm not saying that they're always right. Right. But when we talk about a masculine frame structure, we're talking about structure. We're yeah. talking about not being uh, overly emotional, mm -hmm. you know, keeping the conversation where it needs to be. Not taking things personal. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the young man, he reminds me a lot of a lot of me when I was young because, you know what I'm saying, I was zealous. And and the one thing about being zealous, it's hard for um, you know, certain people to listen to you because you know, you just coming with straight facts. Coming yeah, with yeah, straight yeah. facts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You fire him. <laughs> you 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 fire you feel what I'm saying? And, and and let's just be honest, sometimes you lead with the problem. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You lead with the problem, and then you're trying to be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're trying I'm, to be I'm right. Yeah, I'm definitely so, so the thing is, it's just kind of like, and so even hosting conversations with this, uh, with people like this, mm. it's not just her. It takes a lot of energy. Boy. It takes a lot of energy, you know what I'm saying? Because we all got a side story. All of us can show it. Okay, I can tell y'all some stories right now. I can dim the lights. <laughs> I can dim the lights right now. You feel what I'm saying? And right. tell y'all, I can tell you a story that happened on the Fourth of July. Right. That have people look crazy, like, dang, is that what happened to you? Right, right. Yo, you, ow, AJ, you all right, man? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man, I'm all right. I'm here, man. Yeah, yeah. We all got stories. That's true. We all got situations that we got to deal with. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? We got family that we love and care for. That and see, but um, but these are young men. I, I appreciate young men having a conversation because at the end, of, it's not about being perfect. It's just about standing up being accountable. Every time you get a dollar or a paycheck, there are three principles to how you can be successful. The three ways to spend that money and people always use them backwards. Number one, you pay for what you absolutely need. Number two, really critical, invest. And number invest. three, treat yourself to the things you don't need but you would like to have. The people usually do number three as number one. They never do number two. Number good. one is number three. Because they don't, they don't invest. Yeah. Every time you get a dollar or a paycheck, there are you gotta pay yourself. You gotta re you gotta invest yeah, in yourself. Invest and invest in yourself. Then pay yourself with your investment. That's yes. a fact. Yeah. People don't pay themselves. Mm. And he goes, Is this the booth that Big L was in? I was like, Yeah. Hey. He said, Who is that else Primo? Said, yeah. Karis one, Jay Z, you know. He goes, Can I stand in there? I said, Yeah. <laughs> he goes, Can I turn the lights off? You know, we had the dimmer lights and then he I said, Yeah. I said, I'm gonna go to the store. We have a store on the corner called Crack Deli. I come back and maybe <laughs> a good fifteen Crack minutes Deli. later, he's still in the booth in silence, just in there. I'm like, I'm like, yo, where'd Matt go? He said he's still in the booth. I'm like, yo, you all right? He goes, I just wanted to absorb all this this hip hop legacy. You know? He wow, goes, that he was a real one. Yeah, rest in oh, peace, Mac Miller. She yeah, identifies the real. Camera. <laughs> so, you identify the camera. <laughs> oh, she's not filming. She uh, identifies. That's what I was talking about. We do a fight by identity. She identifies as a camera. I identify as a camera. Person on here with. Oh yeah, I be right, seeing him. Look, you make my drip like You know this slight, but it's real fresh. You know I step out. You know I do my little. You know yeah. I'm gonna give you a nine, baby. Ooh, a nine. Ooh, I'm fresh. Really? Ooh, I like you. I like you. I like you. I'm gonna give you a nine. Would you, so would you dare to do dress like this? Yep. Ooh, where okay. Going? Where are we going? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna say. He said, "Where we oh, yeah, going? You. Where you taking me?" Hold on, can you like a 360 for the camera? Let me see. Ooh. Oh, oh, she going to twerk. Can clap? She going to shake it just a little. You're doing too much. Okay, can I grab it? Can I grab it? No. Tonight, can I text you? You can DM me on Instagram. I don't got, I got text messages. Add me. All I got is text messages. Kristen on here with. One time I asked my dad, I was like, Dad, after trying to beat him, I'm not them, and I'm not doing that shit. You know what I mean? I got my own situation. I'd rather somebody send your profile picture talking about, look at Batman girl doing this. You know, you know, he got the um. The work done, you know what I'm saying? He That's got my the, man that got the yeah, the ab yeah, got the ab. 
So yeah. uh, I, I keep on thinking about it. Think about that when I look I'm at him. I'm sure he got some good things to say, though. But. but you ain't never been fat in your life, though. Man, never, bro. Never. You ain't been fat in your life. That's, you know, it's a struggle in and of itself. Which I thought was a joke. Okay, I took it as a joke, mm -hmm. all right? But he said, well, if I'm single in a year and you're single in a year, maybe we can get together and see what happens. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh. For real? She's Woo! funny. I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> She's and funny. then I did some research. Yeah. And he got a gang of kids. I can't do it. She hilarious. Say, man, that boy Flo say, Charleston White can't still put in Atlanta, but I better not catch you in no Atlanta home at all. I promise you. Yeah, yeah that boy is talking crazy. Here, Charleston White? Yeah. Here, bro, I love Charleston White, bro. He's, he out his mind, bro. He out his mind. If you're a fucking fair dinkum, fucking full grown Aussie, this is what you'd have for breakfast, you fucking dog cunts. Okay. A fucking VB Whoa. long neck at 20 to 8 in the fucking morning. Who would okay. you say yeah, is in right. better shape? You or this man? Come on. Me. 100%. 100%. All you gotta do is just look at our shoulders. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> better. And he has a stupid head. Look at his face! Look at his Shit. Baby, I can go date an Indian, a Hispanic, a white man. Mm -hmm. Y'all not the only mm -hmm. options out here who think y'all doing well you know for yourself, and that's the problem. You know problem y'all done put huh? yourselves on a pedestal when it comes to black women, that's and y'all need to bring it on down because have we have we have gotten to start dating outside our race, mm -hmm. okay? And finding a white man, you're not, you're not. You know, you know, you know why y'all do that? Y'all do that and go and, and go make it look pretty, right? And we having a time of our you, lives. You, you is, you is, you is. But the moment all that glamour run out, that feel ain't there, that culture ain't there, that hug ain't there, that hawking figure of a black man ain't there. So you know what y'all do, please? Y'all. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, and, and seeing this is where these conversations. It's a lot of this conversation happening. You know what I'm saying? I get it, man. I mean, I mean, they on the about. they on the opposite side of the polls, right? So yeah. she like, so this is kind of like, and this is the thing I talked about this YouTube type debate stuff. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying it's like this. This is not real communication. Yeah. This is not. This is not real communication. You're posing a point, and uh, and it's like whether it's real or not. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, we know real debate. Right, right. Like, Let's, it's supposed to have, like, some, into this. Let's some research, some, ac uh, you know, some academic backing, yeah, some yeah. some data, stats. some stats, yeah. or something like that, you, you know, you, to prove your point. You know, not just... Feelings. <laughs> yeah, the Hands. feelings or, 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 you know, just ego. Yeah, I mean, because at the because at the end of the day, like men have ego, yes sir, but they benefit off that ego. True. I mean, I would say that. I mean, and women benefit off the ego as well in the world, but that ego doesn't benefit when it when it comes to home. They don't. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and I think that is where it's just kind of like you can debate all you want and your self-esteem, you know, um, you still, you, you, you know, you still got to deal with reality though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, just because, or, or just because how you are in a corporate world in the business world you can't be that way at home well you you know but it's this this hybrid relationship you know these ideas of what a relationship is mm -hmm. and they want a man that this hybrid man that doesn't exist yeah let's dig into that that that, <laughs> that hybrid that hybrid relationship because i think nowadays even with me you know what i'm saying being a young a young man uh 
we're we're starting to see that uh those gender roles that our grandparents and some of our parents were very you know solid on become more dispersed around and like you said it's it's created that hybrid relationship and that hybrid partner hmm. so now you want somebody that can perform in every facet of the how I need I need a man that can cook clean make money do dishes fix the pipes build window like you know what I'm saying it's this 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 superman that's masculine in touch with his feminine side he's a poet that do drive-bys and you know volunteer at the church on see Sunday, but, you, know? you know you know what's so crazy about this uh this list is that it's just kind of like this is the list that you came up with after being with three other men. Yeah, it's a, it's a conglomerate, of right? All those people. Yeah, yeah. So it's so it's to meet your needs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To fit your lifestyle, to fit a man coming into your life. So, so it's just like a man is entering into your world, right. um, rather than you entering into his world. And saying we're going to build our world together. together. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? And um, and and it's just like that doesn't mean that you know. See, and, and then just like when you look at her, very arrogant, extreme, very e you know, yeah. and Losing ego. And to be honest with you, like, uh, this could be a character though. Mm -hmm. This is this could be a character, but you know, and. And we all know that women are, are different around a man anyway. You know what I'm saying? So all of that alpha, the 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 one that she actually truly respects, come on now. It's not happening. It's not even a question. No. It's not even yeah. Yeah. And and my man, to be honest with you, I don't see this is this is uh, this is part of the conversation. Does she even respect him? Mm. Mm. If she doesn't respect the the person that she's talking to, there's no point in having that. Conversation. But at the same time, a lot of these conversations are happening, so you know what I'm saying the conversations have to be had. So, because I own a company within a plaza, and I have this fine mailman that comes and delivers my mail. I see you. And <laughs> constantly flirting with him. Okay. Now, recently, I had the courage to reveal this crush that I have on him. Unfortunately, he revealed that he's married. Now, since that incident, he stopped delivering my mail. My question to you is, should I call the post office to inquire what's happened to this postman? <laughs> what? <laughs> right. It sounds crazy, I know. Yeah. I'm just, okay, okay, okay. Are you listening to what you said? It sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. It's crazy. I know, I know. You had to crush on the wrong guy. The decent guy, he said, I'm married. Even more decent, he says, I'm not going by there anymore because I don't need the temptation in my life. They just wanted to apologize, I guess. Uh, well, see, but she wants what she wants, right? Yeah. yeah. You going out your way. She wants what she wants. Yeah. So and and see, and that's where I think that we need to have this real conversation and be very judgment uh uh non-judgmental, you guys. The reality is women want what they want. Mm. And you constantly bringing up the conversation about future mm -hmm. and how the eighty percent are are you know taking a twenty percent? Yeah. <laughs> they want what they want. They want what they want. They yeah. choosing up. Yeah, they chose from the jump. Most parts, they know. And, and as you see, like you got these hybrid situations where she got the best friend. The, and he could come around. He got keys. He got, he keys got more in the apartment. He's setting boundaries in the house. <laughs> he telling you what he gonna do. He gonna tell you what your boundaries should right. be. I'm I'm coming over. <laughs> I'm going out with y'all. Yeah, I'll be there. How? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that works. He's yeah. married. Now since that that's funny. It's red button per click karo or ye kandu ho jayengi. Magic deco. I don't even know what he's talking about.
know. Now you mentioned Little Wayne. I know that you guys were this close to signing Wayne. What happened with that deal? Because I mean, they got to. I mean, Wayne was damn near saying he was Rockefeller, and then it just went left. The truth is, yeah, that it's the first time I ever said told this truth. The mm-hmm. truth is, I, you know, after I had the, um, I had a meeting with Wayne. Um, you know, I had a relationship with Baby, so you mm. know, I used to go to New Orleans. I would hang out with him. He had me in the purple little, um, whatever that car was. You remember them purple? Yeah, the Prowler. Yeah, Prowler. Prowler, yeah. Prowler going down yeah. the street. You know, no top. The cry- Chrysler trying boy. to jump yeah. in the car. You know, so I felt it was only right to uh, call him. Mm-hmm. You know, I called them out of respect. Like, yo, I was talking to Wayne. I uh, just let me know. Boom, boom, boom. So after that, I think we received a, a letter at our office for, like, torturous interference. Wow. <laughs> and, Lord, I was like, what? <laughs> and it just all went from there. But he said torturous interference. Hey, you, hey, you got to be artist. about your business. Hey, you finna snatch my artist up. And be about your business. Sure. The truth is, yeah, he went in. Um, my boyfriend Braxton and I have been together for about a year. Um, we're an interracial couple. I'm Guyanese. He's white. Every time we go right. in public together, people assume we're not together. So, for instance, I have a cousin mm-hmm. that's my age, same complexion. And what the three is, of us are good friends, and anytime we go out, say. people think I'm with my cousin and not with my boyfriend. And like the other day, his family came into town. We were in New York at the time, and um, we went to go see the Statue of Liberty. And while we were waiting in line, people kept hear from like him. cutting me off, thinking I wasn't part of their group. So I'd literally have to be like, "No, we're together." What should we do so people know we're together? Should we just not care about it? Why? I, you you can't worry about the world and what the world think. You know, let them think how they want to think and feel how they want to feel. You know what the pastor told me? He, he said the best way to he do didn't want is that answer. Two hand yeah. circle. I, I don't two think he wanted her to ask. You and your wife. Don't let nobody in that circle. Um, do, yeah, you, he, do you think he wanted? I don't think he even wanted to stand up there. He, he like. Uh, he, he she like, don't know no better. He like he don't care. <laughs> she don't know no better. She she just, she a, just a young couple. She just a young. She she meant well. Yeah. She meant well. I think she's blowing it she out. She said she's Guyanese. She's or, Guyanese. You know what yeah, yeah. So I don't think, like, look at him. He didn't want that, you know what I'm saying? But he's not going to cut her off. Right, right. I don't think. Would you have cut her off? No, nah, no. Nah, let her voice that. Let her, because if you don't, you're going to hear about it later. So you might as well. I mean, she on. I think I would have said saying. something. I would have said something. <laughs> And with him standing up there, oh, I yeah. definitely would have said something. Yeah, yeah I, I would have said something because, uh, I mean. Even if not to the detriment of what she's saying, just to add or. I mean, he had. Every time we go out in public together, people assume we're not. He young, together. though. So they both young. I have a cousin that's my that's age, young people problems. The world doesn't know we're together. Friends, and anytime we go out, people think I'm with my cousin. See, but but see, and this is the thing. But Steve, uh, Steve is like, don't worry about that. But bro, that's your job, man. Yeah, that's your job. Like, what you just asked? This, it was really usurping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You really usurped over him. Yeah. Because you asked another man. Something that how happened. you should deal with this and look at him. Yeah, he, he doesn't like feel like that. He 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 didn't want that. He didn't. You, you feel what I'm saying? It feel like he didn't want Steve to say that. But at the same time, Steve is the alpha of the room, though. True. He's he's the one that's leading this conversation. That's right. So he's already in the minority. Mm-hmm. You know, he spoke up on the behalf of him. Yeah, but at the same time, yeah, you said you, you know, at the Steve like, Harvey show, yeah. man. And like, but she, I don't really think she, we she York didn't mean no harm. They yeah, both young. Know. Think about this younger generation. They, they have, they have the information, right? Because it's at their fingertips, right? And they, 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 they are bold, right? Because they, they believe they have more information than us at that time. Mm-hmm. And what, in some ways, they do. You know, but information without understanding is nothing, right? Because on the on the, on a cigarette box, it has this can kill you, and people still smoke. So it's not Facts. just information. Got to be understanding of information and who it's coming from. Facts. Think about this younger generation. They mm. they have they have the information, All right? right? I because you it's, yes, who the sure. fuck wants to live in America? What? I had a kid one time. I took her phone 
So I was tired of having yeah. my phone out. And I'm one of those teachers again. I'm not going to take your phone the first time I see it. But, bro, if I had to tell you more than one time, I don't tell kids more than one time to do something. So if I tell you, put your phone up, Shout out to I don't the teachers. take phones the first time I see it. So if you got it out again, give it to me. So the girl, this was also a student who was constantly out of dress code because she said, my mom told me that whatever she dressed me in is what I'm wearing to school. Okay, well, you and your mom breaking the dress code. So when she sent you to school in it, you going to end school suspension because you had a dress code and clearly you and your mama don't know how to follow the rules. So I took the girl's and phone every day. and because she wouldn't stop having it out. Her mom came up to the school. It was like this whole thing. The girl mom proceeded to walk back down to my classroom and say, my mama, she had another kid's phone. And she was like, my mama said, you need to give me my phone. My mom at the front office right now. She said, you need to give me my phone. So I had a kid one time, I took her phone. I was tired of having a phone out. And mm. I'm one of those teachers again. I'm not going to take your phone the first time I see it. But, bro, if I mm. had to tell you huh? more than huh? one time, I don't tell kids more than one time to do something. So if I tell you, I don't tell kids put your more phone than one up, time to do I... something. That's, that's the teacher. Who's like, School she's kind of like a Karen, crazy. right? And, <laughs> Joe, I love her. With so many webby drop, having rap battles with Twan and Fats and Nanny Yacht. With one eye on the prize like Fetty Wap. I went into a pool full of money and did a belly flop. Hey, Jay, I was on the phone with Wallow and he was telling me to watch out for these hoes I'd knock. Okay. Yeah, I had to tell him that I ain't no nigga who just started getting pussy because his song got hot. With so he much said, My eldest brother is my knocked, favorite man. sibling. Yeah, I like him the though. the past few years, he's been acting really out of character to keep it short. Um, he just talks down to a lot of people in our family. And one time in particular, he called his wife out of her name and I was standing there. Um, and I mean, we had the same mom. Our mom raised us a certain way. And so I approached him regarding the matter and try to kind of get him to see how he was going down the wrong path. And he see. simply told me to stay out of his family business. So I haven't talked to him in two years. Mm. My question is, is that he is still my favorite sibling and I do miss our relationship. So I was wondering, how do you forgive a person when you don't align with their morals? Forgive? Stop trying to educate Ain't him to you? Life. life. educates us all by itself. So, that I love what was the forgiveness? I don't about? know. What? He ain't doing nothing there. He... He didn't do nothing. Like so, that. what? From her judgment? Yeah. Because that's what it sounds like. It, yeah. Because he basically said, so she feels salty about, about what he did. Right. She wanted to correct him. Mm -hmm. He says, you need to stay out of my relationship. Right. And she started talking to him for two years. And they have a stop. And then she said, forgive him. Forgiving him for what? For doing what he did to his family, or is is that he is still my favorite sibling, and I do miss our relationship. Let's, let's so I was wondering, how do you forgive a person this. when you don't align with their morals? Stop trying align to align with their morals. To life, life educates us all by itself. There are people that I love dearly. I don't like them. This is a big one in life to learn that you can love a person and not like them. You just have to love them from a distance. You have to love them to the part, to get to the part you don't like, and That's then you dismiss yourself. Because... My yeah. eldest brother is my favorite sibling, right. but over the past few years, he's been acting really out of character, to keep it short. Um, he just talks down to a lot of people in our family, and one time in particular... He, he talks his down... Out of her name, and I was standing there. The people um, in his family. And I mean, we had yeah. Okay, so it's a bigger issue. It's a bigger issue where he's been... I he's guess she care. thinks he's out of care, but hey, he if he out of bounds, he out of bounds. So, I mean, I mean that's that's also kind of selfish to say you've been acting differently. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking to you for two years. Oh well, yeah, ask my man, hey, what you going through? He might he might be going through something. You know what I'm saying? He just like <laughs> you acting up. I saw you going off on people, so right. I'm not gonna talk to you for two years. Right? And how do I forgive him for me judging for right. judging him? Right. You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is, man. Like, yeah, yeah. That, that's, yeah, that's just, that's, that's just, that's silly. Well, AJ in the place. Phoenix 2 in the building. Phoenix in the two. <laughs> Phoenix in the two. Hey, yo, we had a great time, man. Yeah, did, man. I really appreciate you. you I appreciate, know, appreciate you, man. This was, um, I think this would um, we could definitely 
get some clips out of this and we try to see what's yeah, up with it. Yeah. But yes, much love and peace, everybody. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for showing up and stopping by. I think we had some people that was was, was, uh, was hanging in with us, and I really appreciate that appreciate y'all um no doubt uh do you have any other things that you would like to share man ah man what, what we got coming up man we got anything coming up together uh i mean outside of uh you know trying to finish the, these albums and yeah, stuff yeah man. yeah you know we got some stuff in the work we got a lot of we got a lot of stuff in the works. Got some stuff in the works you see what i'm saying so um you know, once it's once it's time to talk about it, we'll talk about it. But you know, AJ in a place, Phoenix too. What's uh, Phoenix two in the building? The shorts re- uh, review. Yeah, the shorts review. So like if you enjoyed it, definitely hit the like. <laughs> hit the like. Hit the like if you if you du- uh, if you dug this. Hopefully, I don't get no cop- uh, copyright strike. I think like because we did a lot of. Uh, or talking and stuff like that and commentating hopefully yeah, yeah. um it be covered under the uh, informative what is it um educational informative dialogue. yeah the fair use oh, yeah, we, uh, fair well use. we may have to put it in the comments maybe i'll put it in the comments yeah, next yeah, time. just to be yeah. safe but no doubt much love <laughs> and peace y'all have a great evening peace oh yeah i dig it you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I dig this. This is beautiful. If we can get shorts and put them in a playlist. Right.